Okay, good morning. This is Tina Neal, the scientist in charge at the U.S. Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. A quick update on what's happening today at Kilauea. In the lower east drift zone, we've had an additional outbreak at the northeast end of the fissure system, about half a mile south of Highway 132. This is uh, producing spatter that's flying tens of meters into the air and a sluggish lava flow that's moving a little bit to the north, but no big lava flow has yet developed. All of this is to say that the situation down there remains dynamic, and as we've been saying for days now, the outbreaks can continue to occur both uprift and downrift of the existing fissure system, or the existing fissures could be reactivated. All of this uh, means that residents in the area need to stay tuned and listen to the Hawaii County Civil Defense messages about evacuations and closures. On Hawaii's Big Island, scientists warned that the erupting Kilauea volcano may be on the verge of a large explosion that could send boulders flying half a mile. A new crack opened in the ground today, releasing lava. There are now 16 active fissures. Carter Evans is there. After more than a week of fiery devastation, scientists are now watching and waiting for the volcano's next big move. They say Kilauea has the potential to produce a massive steam explosion at any time, unlike anything the Big Island has seen in nearly a century. That's because lava is draining in the summit crater and could soon mix with groundwater. Janet Babb is with the U.S. Geological Survey. Do people in the surrounding communities have to worry about boulders falling on their homes? Uh, no, no, not at all, because the boulders will only be carried in the immediate vicinity of the vent. If there's an explosion, geologists say the largest rocks would land in this area. Marble-sized rocks could fall up to a half mile away, but still within the closed national park. The resulting ash cloud could be 20,000 feet high and blown across the island. Ashfall is a nuisance, but it doesn't threaten life. Despite the science behind the eruption, most people who live here believe there's more to it. According to Hawaiian mythology, Pele, the goddess of fire, inhabits Kilauea and controls the lava. People leave offerings to please her all over the island and they accept her will. Harry Kim is the mayor of Hawaii County. I feel like people are very accepting. Uh, it's uh, when you're close to nature and you have to be around here, you accept the uh, lava eruptions as part of that. There's a price for paradise. Uh, it is a price, it really is a price. Earthquakes and lava are a way of life here. Kilauea has been in a constant state of eruption since 1983, and in that time, the entire community of Kalapana was wiped out. So people here know this volcano's power, and they have a healthy dose of respect for it. Rena? Carter, thank you. Also, gas emissions remain high in the Lower East Rift Zone, and people in the vicinity and downwind are, are at risk of, of interaction with, with significant concentrations of gas. Up here at the summit, we have a continued trend of deflation in the summit area, consistent with a further reduction of the lava column in height deep inside the Overlook Crater. There's a voluminous cloud of water condensate or steam coming out of the crater. At times, it is tinged with a little bit of ash, primarily from rock falls deep into the crater. Uh, we have yet to see any evidence of explosive interaction of groundwater and hot rocks. This is what we were concerned about and we continue to watch for and wait. So the situation across the volcano remains uh, pretty fluid and HVO working with our partners in emergency authorities and our University of Hawaii partners. In addition, we're getting some reinforcements from other US volcano observatories. We're continuing to watch things 24 seven and advise about what's going on. Thank you.